Hey guys, it's Allie. So, um, sadly for some weird reason, I keep getting sick. So, sorry for my voice and that I look like I'm dying. But today we're gonna be doing a review on a makeup product by Wet n Wild. I absolutely love Wet n Wild. It's one of my favorite brands uh, for uh, cosmetics. And what I love also the most about it is that it's not very costly, so you can get really good makeup for not that much. So today we're going to be trying Wet n Wild's um, Mega Glow Makeup Stick Conceal. We're going to be reviewing number 808 Nude for Thought. As you guys can probably tell, I am very, very pale in my uh, skin color. On this side of my face, I'm wearing foundation. I use the Maybelline Liquid uh, Matte and Poreless Foundation. I use number 110 Porcelain because I'm very pale. So I'm not quite sure if this concealer is going to be light enough for my skin tone. So we will see how it works. So when I open it and I like twist it all the way, you get quite a bit of product. So... That's how thick it is for how much product there is in the stick. I'm going to assume I'm just going to apply it and blend with my finger or a makeup sponge. So let's put it on this eye because I didn't put anything on this side of my face. And let's see if it matches my skin tone and if it really conceals. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab on a little bit. Oh, I'm just gonna put it like all over my cheek and see how that looks. You guys can't probably tell through the camera, but it's coming off a little like orangey compared to my uh, skin tone is more like a yellow. I'm gonna apply it to the whole side of this face and we'll see how well it blends and <sighs> how it looks. <laughs> okay. So yeah, my camera does not recognize that my skin is a little bit more yellow than this uh, concealer, but let's apply it all over half of my face and see and see how well it looks and how well it blends. I put a lot of product, so I'll get like this little spot on my forehead too. All right, let's start blending. All right, I'm gonna see if I could blend it with a sponge first and see how well it blends. It's doing pretty good, to be honest. It's blending really well with my skin. But it is a little red compared to, like, my natural skin tone. Let me see if I could blend my chin with my finger. The texture is pretty smooth. It's, like, creamy, so it feels like it applies well and it, like, feels really soft on your skin. I don't really see any product on my fingers, so that's pretty good. That means, like, it really sticks to your face. But on the sponge, it kind of does, like get on the sponge bit. That's normal. And the forehead. Okay. Well, that was easy to blend. You know what, you guys? I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, I think I like this. On camera, it's not that noticeable, but in real life, it kind of does look like my face and my neck aren't the same tone. But overall, honestly, I feel like it really did the trick. Like, I don't look like I have any dark circles anymore. Maybe if I put a second layer of concealer, uh, it would hide a lot more. But I think it did a pretty good job considering I only applied like one layer of it. So some of you guys know this, but I have very sensitive skin and I'm also uh, prone to eczema breakouts. So that's why like sometimes my skin is a little uneven uh, in some places and dry. And I don't find that I'm having any type of allergic reaction to it. Uh, my face isn't itchy, um, so my sensitive skin isn't reacting um, negatively to the concealer. Overall, I'm going to say that the Mega Glow Makeup Stick really works. I'm not quite sure if they have a lighter color than 808, but when I went to go buy it, it was the lightest I could find. But on camera, it's not that noticeable that it's just a tiny bit darker than my natural skin tone or it's just a little bit redder. Alright, so my final thoughts on the Conceal Makeup Stick is I really like it. <laughs> I'm going to give this uh, Conceal Makeup Stick a 9 on 10. Did it completely mask all of my pores and imperfections? to 100%, no it didn't, but it did cover about 90% of my acne spots and my dark circles, so I feel like it does work and it's 
really easy to apply. Uh, it's smooth to blend, so I really like it. Would I recommend this product to you guys? Yes. I love this concealer and I think it's great. If you guys want to go check out Wet n Wild's other makeup products, you guys can go on their website. I will put the link in the description. And I hope you guys found this video very useful. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay loyal, stay royal. Bye guys!